Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. All right. Breaking the ladies some music here. Sorry I'm late. We'll begin in just a second. Let's see who's on. Whew, I'm running behind. I'm running behind. I don't even know if Facebook is even working tonight. So we'll check again. But in the meantime, let's do a sound check. Testing, check testing, it, testing, 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 testing. All right. Running just a little late. Whew. Okay, let's change live. Oh. It looks like Facebook is working, so we need to shape it up, get our act together. Ah, right, happy Thursday. What's up, Mary? <laughs> Give me just a moment here. I got to get fixed. Okay, I'm looking like a mess. This is what happens when you're running late all the time. Okay. We're going to clean it up tonight. Hey, what do you guys think? Well, do you like it better? Do you, what do you think? Do you think I should just keep it hanging a little bit out? All right, let's kick it off. We're already running behind. So welcome. Happy Thursday. Whoa, it's already Thursday already. Can you believe it? So that means Friday, and it's the weekend. Yes, it's the weekend. Yes, it's the weekend. I'm so pumped. So happy Thursday. Yom Hamashi. Hope everyone's had a great day, a great week, and ready for the weekend. I'm Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco in Santa Rosa. Mouth Page is an online spiritual community, and we are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live week now motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please check out our services, either on our Facebook page or on our website. Our website is www.mouthpage.com and on our YouTube channel, which is Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So for those of you who are new to our community, our week that motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. Usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Mouth page, check this out. We have been going live now for 58 weeks, 58 weeks, 58 weeks strong. And we're at 52,700 diehard mouth pages loving us, liking us, following us on Facebook. Man, by Monday, we're going to be close to 54,000. I can feel it right here. Man, we are so trending to pass what we did last year. We're so, or to double, we're so trending. So I love you all so much. Let's continue, let's push. Let's continue to spread the love. Right now we're small, but we're mighty. Small and mighty. That's it. We're like the Navy SEALs, right? We're small but mighty. So let's continue to spread the mouth page community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. So let's do... Hmm, what should we do today? Let's do the Shema. Let's do the Shema. Declaration of faith in one guy. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Mahut Olam Bayed. Hero Israel Adonai is our God. Adonai is one. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Okay, so we're still doing the Ten Commandments. We are on number... Drum roll. Seven. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Last night we finished with thou shalt not murder or harm each others, right? So thou shalt not murder. So thou shalt not commit adultery. We are doing the ten. I call it the ten. We're on part eight. But let's go over the ten commandments. First of all, let's... Say it. Say it with me. 
I am the Lord thy God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God, out of the house of bondage, out of the house of slavery, to free you. I am the Lord thy God. Number one, put God first. Number two, praise and worship him only. No false gods. Three, keep God's name holy. Don't curse at him. Don't say bad things about him. Number four, keep the Lord's Day special. Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, right? Shabbat. Five, obey your parents. Honor your parents. Six, don't harm anyone. Don't kill anyone. Seven, love the one you marry. No, don't commit adultery. Eight, don't steal. Nine, don't lie. And ten, don't be jealous. Don't covet. Just in case you're, you've missed a couple of them the last few weeks or the last few days, I just wanted to recap. Okay, so number seven. Dun, dun, dun. This is where it's ranking. Number seven. Just so you know, loving God is more important than this. But this is important, by the way reason why this one's so important is because this one is stackable. Now, what do I mean by stackable? I'll tell you in a moment. Committing adultery is what this is called. Or love the one you marry. Or love the one you're with, right? I see everybody looking at me while I'm rubbing my chin. Do I dare do this one? Do I dare go there? If I do, is it going to offend others? But just in two more commandments, when I get to number nine, it says don't lie. Don't bear false testimony, right? Don't bear false witness. So do I talk about this one? Because this one's very touchy to a lot of people, just like lying. We'll get to that one here in a couple days. But this one is very touchy. Why is this one touchy? Consensus. Do I go there? Shake your heads. I know you're all standing there drinking. You're holding your coffee like this. Shake and shake your heads. Yes or no? Okay. They said to go there, so I get the consensus. We're going to go there. We're going to talk about it. I was told to do it. We're going to talk about it. Why? Because it's in God's commandments. Don't commit adultery. Now, why do I say that? What does that mean? What does that mean? No cheating. What does that mean? Cheating on a test? Okay, it could. No cheating on the test. Be loyal to your test. Be loyal to yourself, right? How about your diet? You're committing something. You stay faithful to it, right? Your dreams. That's a big one. I talked about that last night, too, about killing or murdering your dreams. Don't cheat on your dreams. How many people? I was one of them. How many people do you know who said, hey, I want to be a veterinarian, or I want to be an artist, or I want to be this. And next thing you know it, you're selling cars. Well, wait a minute. You want to paint pictures, but you're selling cars? Don't cheat on yourself. How about your friends and family? I'm going to put that one on standby for a second. We're going to hold that one for just a second. I'm going to pull that off. Pull it off. How about your workouts? Now, I know my friend Scott watches a lot, so I'm going to make you laugh for a moment, especially since you, you know, you're recovering from a serious accident. I'm not trying to make light of it, but hey, you always got to have fun. You enjoy life, so I'm smiling just because I love you, my brother. But you know what I'm getting at? Well, remember when we were in sports together and that guy Tyler always kept saying, you just cheat yourself. Jim and Scott, I was going to say our last name. You're just cheating yourself. You're just cheating yourself. You remember that? I'm laughing because I can just hear him when we're doing our, when we're doing our push-ups. You're just cheating yourself. I thought it was funny. But it's true. Because what he was trying to say was, if you're doing push-ups incorrectly, or if you're not doing them right, you're just cheating yourself because you're not going to get the tone. You're not going to get the stamina that you need. You're just cheating yourself. Cutting corners. Is that considered cheating yourself? How about your partner? Cheating on them. What is cheating? And then your spouse. Cheating on your spouse. What is cheating? Now, we're thinking this. The normal, right? The 
the one that nobody really wants to talk about, but that, that cheating. But it could be not telling your partner. Huh. Going to a late night dinner or having a late night drink or lunch and not telling your partner. Could that be cheating? Hmm. It could be. You're darn right it is. Not telling your partner could also lie. Not lying. We'll get to that too here in a second. Okay, so earlier I said I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the friends and family. How about your friends and family? I'm gonna bring that back and I'll tell you why. Marriage. How many people have ever been married before? Here's where it becomes touchy. Here where it becomes sticky. Your friends and family. I see so many people get divorces, but I also see so many people get married. When you get married, all your friends and family come to celebrate your love. Your love. Celebrate both of you together. And then when you divorce, all that friends and family now are a part again. But wait, there's more. Hold on a second. When we talk about a cheating, and you do something wrong, you're not just letting down God. I always say God first because God's the most important person in our lives. Then you let down your spouse or your partner, however you want to put it. Whether you're married or you're not married, you're still letting that person down. You also said that that person is that person for you. Friends, right? All of a sudden, now you're cheating on your friends. You're letting your friends down. You're doing something dishonest to your friend. Huh. And now you're letting your friends that, that goes see you and your family. But wait, there's more. How about cheating on God? How many of us have ever done that? Now, a lot of people are probably looking at themselves, looking at the mirror going, oh, not me. Really? Not going to church or synagogue on, on the weekends? Not reading the Bible, not talking with God, not reciting God's word, not honoring God's plan or laws? Forgetting about God, blaming God? You're not cheating on God? Really? Really? Are you serious? Oh, I believe in God. Oh, I believe. Okay, great. But are you doing anything? Are you really, are you really there? Are you really faithful to God? So when God says, thou shall not cheat, thou shall be faithful, thou shall not commit adultery, does he just mean your partner? Because if you have a bad practices, bad behaviors, it's going to lead to being dishonest to God. Oh, you lie to God, you just better pack your bags and just start driving to hell right now. Because that is not a good thing. You lie to the, the Lord Almighty, the Creator. And I, I, I hear people talk about the Creator lately. That's their new word. right? I was watching a movie the other day and they say the Creator. Okay, fine. I'll jump on that bandwagon, the Creator. Why? Because God created everything. So if you're trying to hide behind that word, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to pull it forward. The Creator. God is the Creator. Great. Thanks for bringing it, Hollywood. I love that. So the Creator. God is the Creator who created heaven and earth, man and woman, all colors, all everything, all creatures. You cheat on your spouse, you're cheating on God. You cheat on your partner, you're cheating on God. You cheat on your family and friends. You're cheating on God. Why? Because this commandment is one of the commandments that are stackable. Now, why are they? Whoa, 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 you Rabbi Yak, what are you talking about? You can stack it with a lot of other ones. Nah, yeah, you can. But hold on. This one seems to just grab several others with you all or several other commandments with you all of a sudden bam you're cheating on your partner but your partner asked where you were and you lied to them bam number two you're stealing their trust you're stealing your their love 
Oh, number three. And in addition to lying and cheating on them because you're with someone else. Oh, are you coveting? Uh huh. Huh. All of a sudden, your parents might have asked where you were and you lied to them. Bam! Now you just broke another one. Are you honoring your parents by lying to them? I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, all of a sudden you're so stressed, you're so stressed, you miss your butt, you miss your day off. Bam, you did another one. Oh, huh, Rabbi Yak isn't so stupid now, am I? Huh, all of a sudden we're stacking it. See, all of a sudden one commandment violated five. Whoa, do I dare go there? You bet I go there. Why do I go there? Because this is huge. This is huge. Yeah, this one doesn't say murder. Okay, so you didn't violate that one. Whoa. But you violated so many more. Are you kidding me? And what about God? Where does God come into this? All of a sudden, evil just seeped into your life, just sucked everything out of you, and all of a sudden, everything is crashing down. Now, that does not mean God won't love you. And that doesn't mean God won't forgive you. That doesn't mean God isn't going to help you fix the things that you did wrong. That's important to know. Because even though that these commandments are given to Moses by God, that doesn't mean that they're not fixable by God. That God, God can only repair you. God is the only one that can forgive you. I don't care about all the laws and all the human stuff. It's God that can forgive you. It's God that can give you a second chance. It's God that can give you a third chance. It's God that can do it all. But if you don't talk to God, if you don't walk with God, evil is going to kick you in the teeth or mouth or butt or whatever other body part you want to say that evil is going to just destroy you. That's important to know. Now that touches everyone. Why? Because everyone wants a second chance. We're all going to make mistakes. Now I'm not saying, I'm not condoning, hey, go out there, make a mistake, and just talk with God. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, sometimes you, talk, you hear spiritual leaders and they get us so scared about God so much that all of a sudden that we're, we're supposed to be perfect. That's not what God wants. But God also wants us to honor his laws and, and his commandments. But God also wants us to treat everybody the same way we want to be treated. If you're going to get married to that person, that's a commitment. That's a lifelong commitment. That isn't just something like a house where you say okay after four years after it gets some equity i'm going to sell her no that's not what that means oh well he he got a little chubby so i'm gonna kick him loose whoa she got a little wrinkly i'm kicking her loose <laughs> no <laughs> where does that look I, let me check my bible does that say that anywhere no it does not so we have to put God first and honor his laws in order for us to do the right thing. Remember, you take your partner slash spouse as your best friend, not a buddy. You cheat on your buddy. You commit adultery on your buddy. You cheat on someone you don't know, but you cheat on your friend. You cheat on your loved one. And most important, you cheat on God. That's the difference. When you say the vows and you use God's name up there, that means something. That means something. Don't make it not mean anything. And if you take those words and those vows... Don't let the devil beat you. I will never let the devil beat me again. Never. Man, he almost beat me last night in my dream. I won't talk about it tonight. But it was rough. It was tough. But God got me through it. 
Whew. You know what? I will talk about it. I will mention it. Man, <laughs> I died last night in my dream. How powerful is that? I hear scientists and, and people say, oh, if you die in your dream, that's it. Man, I died last night. God got me out of it. So yeah, I talk with God. I walk with God all the time. You can call me crazy. That's fine. People do. I'm not afraid. I don't care what you say. I care what God says. But it was a rough dream last night. The devil was trying to get to me last night, but it wasn't happening. God and me are too tight. We're too close. I told you we're like a married couple. We argue and we fight. We hug. We kiss. We love each other. But that's how it is. But it was a rough night last night. But see, with God, God gave me through it. So all these people say, oh, if you die in your dreams, you're going to have a heart attack. Well, living proof. I made it. I made it out alive. It was, I didn't say I wasn't sweating. It wasn't tough. But I made it. All right. See, that's awesome. This is how I improv. See, I don't have any cool little things that say, oh, applaud, laugh, giggle. See, this is live. This is improv. If I start crying or bleeding or sweating, you're going to see it. I don't have a makeup person coming because all my people are sitting over there like telling me to wrap it up. But that's what live is. You love me, you love me, you like me, you like me. You don't, you don't. But it's honest. That's the difference. That's what separates us. That's what separates us from the big boys in Hollywood. Why? Because there's no editing. Editing comes from me. This is it. Hey, if I make a mistake, I'll say sorry. That's it. That's my editing. I don't have the fancy money and the fancy makeup and the, the hey, say a pause. I don't have any of that stuff. Because that's as honest. This is the real deal right here. The real deal. You want the truth? You want it the way it is? Here you go. This is it. I love you all. Word of the day is love. I got to wrap it up because everybody's telling me to. L, let, let God help you with everything. That includes love. O, one partner. Be trustworthy. God is honest. So should we. V, varying from God makes you vulnerable to evil. Amen to that. E, Evil wants you to fall apart. So before we end tonight's motivation, I like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. First of all, I have been seeing a lot of posts on Facebook. I have a lot of friends and family from Colorado. And I just saw another law enforcement officer who got shot and killed. Another one. I think this is four. Scott, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Four. Four. So I want to pray for their family members for healing. This is huge. Pray for their healing for their family members. Pray for peace in Colorado. It's starting to become really, really violent for law enforcement officials out there. Let's pray for them out there. Pray for my father-in-law. Pray that he continues to heal from his stroke, that he continues to have good, great care providers. Pray for his wife for, for, and my mother-in-law, that she continues to have strength and courage because you know her, her loved one, her husband has been down for several months, continuing to give her strength, to continue to keep her positive. Just because he's had the stroke doesn't mean it doesn't affect her too. And pray for their family as well. Pray for my friend Scott and his wife, Suzanne, who was involved in a bad car accident. I know Suzanne's getting better. Pray for Scott, who's still needing a lot of healing prayers to get better. Pray for Ashton. Pray for Tony. Pray for Charlotte. Pray for Edwina. Pray for Edwin. Pray for Juanita. Pray for Vicky. Pray for Liza's father, Laura's mother, Kenny, Sessie, Terry. Pray for my cousin Pete. Pray for Jason, Joshua, Sam's daughter, Raul, Roger, Robert, Steffi, Ralph's mother, Greg's aunt, Sandy's son, John, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Nathan, Natalia, Byron, Brian, Mark, Marlo's family, Christine's family, Marcus's family, as well as Marcus's uh, medical condition where he, had a, he has to get surgery done next month. Pray for him as well. Amen. And happy birthday to Wendy. To Wendy. 
two Indies, to Anthony, to Jean, and to Dean. Yamal had it Samech. You have a Rakachad and Ivish and Raka, you air Panave Lacha, Vekanecha, you saw Adonai Panave Lacha, Vyasam Lacha Shalom. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. Number 62327. I want to thank you all for watching tonight. Thanks for putting up with me. I know I go a little crazy sometimes. I know I go off the cuff a lot. I'm sitting here trying to read this, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to say what I want to say. And everybody's over here going, <laughs> So I appreciate all that you guys do. You're the best part. You guys give me strength. You guys keep me going. You keep me fighting the devil every day. So thank you so much. Check us out Monday through Thursday, live on Facebook. And every Friday, Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check out our website, www.malpage.com. Oh, Monday through Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. See, I forgot, but I remembered in here. Check out our YouTube channel, Malpage Spiritual Community. I love you all so much. If you know anybody wants to take a day from me, hey, I know I'm special. I know I do great things. But if hey, anybody else wants to say something or even just come on and just advertise their product or whatever, as long as it's spiritual or something positive, Man, jump on. You want to sing and dance over here? Let me know. I love you all so much. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless Lila Tov. I will see you all tomorrow. Amen. Amen.